Bugs, this is Tony at Travel Scoot. In this video, we're going to show you a simple little clamp repair. Um, you guys are, of course, aware and familiar with our lever clamps. So uh, you'll have these to hold the yoke as well as the seat, and then the steering tube clamp, uh, which you see here, essentially identical, except it has this keyway to help keep the steering column aligned. A pesky problem is uh, if you have, for example, an overeager helper that helps you, let's say, oh, collapse the scooter and goes a little bit far with the disassembly, these little friction pads may get lost. They can also, with abuse, uh, deteriorate over time. You don't necessarily need to replace the entire clamp if it's just that little friction pad. Here's a simple replacement. You take, for example, a coffee can lid. You draw a rough approximation of this little friction pad on the coffee can lid. You take a hole punch of any sort. You can use a hole punch for uh, punching holes in paper for a ring binder as well. Um, we're going to use this hole punch right here. It's a little on the small side, but it helps us get there. You can also use, for example, a step drill. I'll go ahead and run that through a little bit. Uh, you essentially want ballparky a quarter inch hole, uh, 3 sixteenths to a quarter inch. And very simply what you do then, you can use scissors. In this case, I'm going to use a box knife. Just cut the approximate size. It does not have to be absolute precision. You don't want to get it too small, though. And as you saw, I drilled the hole before I cut out the actual friction pad. It makes it easier. Imagine trying to hold that and then squeeze the punch or especially hold the drill. Anyway, let me just swap that out there real quick. Slide that in place. Install your clamp hardware, your lever clamp with the so-called skewer. And you are back in business. Thanks for watching and happy scooting.